it's Keegan welcome back to my channel so today's video we are going to be doing one that I get a lot of questions about we are going to be doing how to make friends in high school I get so many questions from you guys being like I don't know how to make friends I have fake friends I want new friends I'm going to be new to school I don't know how to meet people like how do I make friends how do I make friends you know what I'm like how do you make friends Duh, okay how many times can I say that a lot so I just want to say that the way people make friends is so personal to them and to themselves I am by any means no expert on how to be a friendly like I'm not friendly. I'm kind of, I think I'm friendly, hopefully. I'm not an expert on how to meet new people and become their friend. I just know what works for me and for my experience. Things that I do that I have noticed, how I met my friends, how I become friends with them. So I thought that I'd give you guys some tips on how to make friends. If you're a new student, if you want new friends, you have fake friends and need to cut them out of your life, you just go snip snip. So let's get started with my tips. My first tip is to look friendly. And sometimes people say that to me. I'm like, do I, do I not look friendly? Like, do I? Do I look mean? Like, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. So here's a few tips on how to look more friendly. Because when you're more friendly, you're more approachable. You know, like when you see someone and they just look like angry and like they like your arms are crossed and they just look really high and you're like, I'm scared of them. I don't want to talk to them. You don't want people to be turned off by you. Not like turned off sexually, but like turned off in a friendship way. You want to look approachable. You want to look nice. You want to look like you're a friendly person. So the first thing that you can do is smile and look happy. Not like in a creepy like way, but like just don't look like you're frowning. Like, you know, if you just stand there and you're like, you know, just, just look happy, look pleasant. Don't look like you're miserable or angry. Even if you are miserable, angry, sad. I remember I was so sad my first day of school when I was a new kid. I like wanted to cry. I literally went home and like bawled my eyes out because I made no friends. I was miserable and I probably looked the part. So even if you are, just smile and look happy. Fake it till you make it. Your body language is so important. Make sure you have like good posture. If your arms are crossed, you're in like, <clears throat> you look pouty. Uncross your arm, point your body towards people. Not like in a creepy way. Do everything like a non creepy Uncrossing your arms is something that is super helpful. Like when you have your arms crossed, you just look like hmm. trying to like put my arms in frame. So I'm like this. Keep in mind your body language. Make eye contact with people across the room. Like doesn't have to be like a long like that kind of hurt my eyes from the lights like staring into that. Make eye contact not for too long or else you'll be I keep saying that's like don't be creepy. Like do it in like moderation. But make eye contact if you're like looking at the floor, you're looking at the ceiling, or you're looking at your phone. You're not as approachable, but if you see someone, make eye contact, smile at them. And then they're gonna be like, oh she looks really sweet. Maybe I should go talk to her. My next tip is to get talking. And there are so many situations where you can just have like a simple conversation with people. It can literally be like small talk about like the clouds in the sky. So let's say you're waiting in line, you can talk to the person in front or behind you and be like like, oh my gosh, this line is so long. Ha ha ha. Or let's say you sit by someone at a table in your class. You could be like, hey, your handwriting is really nice or something like that. I don't know. I'm an awkward person to talk to. I am totally aware of that. Um, I'm really bad at like small talk. Like if I'm invested in a conversation, I can just keep going. But like I'm bad at, wow, the sky is so blue today. You know, that kind of convo. I think in your head, something that's really important is to think of like talking points. You can Google like talking points for like new people. Maybe you could do that before the first day of school. My biggest tip, this is how I literally make all my friends. It's not even even like I'm doing this on purpose like it's just something that I genuinely am like this type of person but it is to compliment them I love complimenting people and it literally gets a conversation going they think that you're super nice because you just compliment them maybe they'll compliment you back if they're nice if they're not then maybe they won't complimenting people is literally the way I make my friends that's the way I start talking to them so let's say I'm like oh my gosh I love your shirt where'd you get it from and then this girl's like I got it from February 21 and you're like that's my favorite store it's kind of like a hit or a miss sometimes but like I love how cheap it is and then she's like oh my gosh I know it's like so cute I love this one. Have you been to the, like, you get this conversation going and you're finding things that you have in common and interest. I think it's really hard to talk about like hobbies and things like that with people if they just don't have the same ones. Talk about things you have in common like stores or your classes and teachers or homework. Things that you have in common like compliments really spark a conversation and that's literally my biggest tip to meeting new people and to start talking to them if you're nervous. Compliment them. Like going up to someone and being like, hi I'm Keegan, nice to meet you. I don't have any friends. Like that's really hard but going up to someone and being like, your outfit it is so cute today. It's not that hard. It's going to make them think that you're so nice. It's the way to make friends, in my opinion. Maybe it's different for guys. Maybe guys are like weirded off, but to girls, that's the way you gotta do it. Since you complimented them, you started this conversation going, and now you're like, I wanna be their friend. So what you gotta do, if you see them in the hallway, be like, hi Sarah, hi Jackie. Like, just say hi to them if you see them. Then they'll say hi to you, they'll remember you. You seem super friendly and nice because you're saying hi, you're not like avoiding eye contact if you see them in Target. Follow their social media, not like right away, maybe like a few days later, maybe like a week later. I don't wanna, like, I love your shoes, like 10 seconds later, be like, Instagram follow. They may be like, maybe she's stalking me. Follow their social media, then they'll follow you back, and then you can like, like all their tweets and like all their Instagram posts, so like your name's coming up. 
well. They remember you. They want to be your friend because you're so nice because you're liking all their tweets and you're giving them some good likes on their selfie on Instagram and like they're being your friend. The next step is like we should hang out sometime. Like invite them over to your house or maybe if there's like a group project, be their partner. That's like the best like forced way into hanging out with them. And then you get to know each other more and then you become friends and then here's how you get like a squad. Ready? You meet one person, they introduce you to all their friends and then bam, you're part of their squad. Oh my gosh. The group of friends I'm with now, that's how I became friends with them. I sat by one girl at a table in class, became friends with her, then she introduced me to all of her friends and now we're all best friends. Squad. And just because I sat next to someone and started talking to her in class. How you get lots of friends is mutual friends. Friends of friends. They introduce you and you become friends with all of them and then you just like get in their little group and then you're just like, you have lots of friends. And that's how you make friends. Also, there's two little things that I want to point out. There's no shame and if you're new being like, hi, I'm new here. Is it okay if I sit here? Like, I don't know anyone. I love it when someone says that to me. Like, I'm like, yes, please. Like, I'm like, I'll adopt you into my friend group. Please. I love meeting new people. There's literally no shame in being like, I'm new here. I don't know anyone. I would even recommend that. That's like a good way of starting to talk to someone because then they can be like, oh, where are you from? Then you can start talking about where you're from, blah, blah, blah. And then you just start the conversation rolling. Another thing is that making friends can happen really fast or it can happen really slow and gradual. I just don't want you guys to think that like one day it's like, friends, bam. It may take a month or two. You may like not have friends for a while, but you will get friends. It's going to happen. You're going to meet such amazing people. I can't think of a new kid that went to my school by the end of the year didn't have a friend. So those are my tips for making new friends. I know this is definitely not like a normal video that I would make. I just wanted to talk about this, maybe relieve some like pressure, anxiety off you guys. Because making new friends is probably the most stressful part of moving somewhere. So I just wanted to give you guys some of my best tips. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It's a little bit different for me. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. I'll see you guys in my next See you. Bye.